Hello, today I would like to show you something that I believe is the best patrol flashlight. By saying patrol flashlight, I mean something that you are going to keep in your vehicle, constantly charge, or on your duty belt in a loop. So this is what I choose as the absolutely best one top tier, and I'm going to explain you why. First, let's reveal the model number. This is a Streamlight 20 XP LED. And as you can see, we've got a LED button and we are shining our LED. So you know that I don't like LED. So why I'm telling you that this is the best flashlight in my opinion. And the answer lies in the second button because when we press it, we've got a halogen. Basically, this flashlight combined two of them, so we've got the LED light that can last over 12 hours, plus we've got like a halogen spotlight with this absolutely beautiful yellow light that I just love and I can't resist. Here you can compare them to Poly Stinger, so as you can see, our 20XP LED is much bigger, but the design is exactly the same. They feel absolutely the same, absolutely great quality, but this is just, a, I believe, like a Xeon bulb or a halogen. So this one doesn't have LED. That one does and got this double purpose mode. The only thing I don't like about those flashlights is both of them, they are using those dedicated battery and if you take a look they look exactly like a regular cells that you can find on a drill nickel cadmium but this top is uh, totally different and it is like a attachment put over there and if you take a look we've got a stripe that go and connect the bottom so both connections are on top and that design with this stripe is extremely important because the bottom part is not used on your flashlight. That's because it is made from some kind of compound, plastic compound. Here you can see a beautiful beefy O-ring. And as you can see, the spring is not making any contact because the body is made out of plastic and does not conduct electricity. So you've got nothing over here that is going to put the power. So the power is delivered on that end only. So that's the reason why it can be a plastic and we still got a connection. So even without that cap, I can press it a little bit and very interesting design, but you have to be careful because you need to purchase those dedicated battery and I purchased mine without any problem and it's got capacity of two and a half amp hour. So it is an upgrade against the genuine one that was, actually I do not see uh, capacity, but I believe the genuine one was around 1.7 amp. This is what, what I believe. You are free to correct me if I'm wrong. Definitely that one got more capacity. Here you can compare it against flashlight with a metal shell that is using a regular R20 battery. So it is a little bit longer. Rubberized body is absolutely amazing. The only real problem I see with this flashlight is that it do not have anything to stop so if you've got it on top of your car and you are at angle it will just slide like this so it is a small problem but I can live with that most likely because that was dedicated for a patrol duty so let's take a look at the light source so we've got ability to undo that part we've got our polycarbonate lens and this is the module that you can 
purchase from the Streamlight. Let me take it out. And we've got a bulb that looks like a halogen. To take out that module and replace it, you just grab this wire and slide it out. And to be honest, it looks like a generic halogen bulb that was fitted into that ceramic thing and put. So maybe with some work, you can just replace the light emitting element. Here I've got another vintage flashlight from West Germany. And we, if we undo it, we've got a similar looking bulb. So it is quite similar style, but that one is like a regular halogen. It do not have pin. It is just slided in. And if we take a look at the LED, if we take a look at the light emitting diodes, they are located over there, three pieces, and most likely they will never go bad, but I'm pretty sure that you can always replace them. To put it back, you just have to align those LED into the cutout. You go like this, and you nicely screw it in and you are good to go. So even if your main light goes bad, you can always use the LED as a backup. I'm pretty sure that you are going to ask yourself how long does it work with the extended battery aftermarket that I put inside. With the halogen light, it work over two hour, like two hour, 20 minutes. This is a safe value. And for the LED light over 12 hour, I didn't measure that, but you can go through whole night without absolutely any problems. Like all rechargeable flashlight from Streamlight, we've got some sort of docking station. Here we've got a contacts, and this is a docking station with a LED indicator and the typical Streamlight plug and you can plug it into your wall adapter or in your vehicle. This is why I do not have the adapter installed because it's in the DC installation. So I power it from a 12 volt. And to recharge your light, you just drop it in like this and it nicely go into place and is always ready for use. If you would like to take it out, you just pull it like this and you are good to go. It's got a really nice focused beam. Keep in mind that I've got a studio lightning and even with that, it is a quite bright. So it is a absolutely beautiful flashlight. Most important question is, do they still important in a year 2022, 2023? And the answer is 100 percent yes and that's because those patrol style flashlight have got another extremely important duty let me create a sample situation so you can see where those type of flashlight are absolutely beautiful and they are shining and they can save your life so let's imagine that you are responding to like open basement. You've got a common area, you've got an open basement and you need to investigate that. So what's your option? You can grab a flashlight like this from your tactical vest or from your pants and you can go like this and investigate. The second option, which is terrible, you can take out taser and use the light on your taser and go like this and this suddenly someone came can came out who is fully supposed to be there and you are pointing your taser into that person and the third the worst possible option is that something that i would never do in a million years you mount a flashlight on your gun and you go like this with your firearm i would never put a light on your gun because you need to point at the direction that you would like to see 
and you are pointing gun the same time. I do not do that. And the last option, which is my personal opinion the best, you grab your patrol flashlight from a vehicle, you turn it on, you grab it like this, and you rest that end on your shoulder. So here is your head, your shoulder, and you go and grab it like this. And you go like this, and you are shining your way. And if you see someone who's supposed to be there, so this is how it looks like, then you've got a flashlight in your hand. You can change the grip, you can put it to another hand, you can say hello, and that's done. You've got a flashlight. And if situation change, you go from this to hitting someone. It gives you a tool to defend yourself, to repel some sort of attack. You can use it to block attack. You can lead your way in, your way out. And with the two hour runtime, over two hour, it is absolutely more than enough to keep it constantly charged in your car and to just take it out when you know that you are going to need it. But in case of some kind of situation like a blackout, you've got more than 12 hours with that. So it is absolutely beautiful. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find that interesting. See you next time and bye bye.